Hello, quick video. I'm making a, or starting to make an oilstone box. Just tell you about this first. I sold this chisel nearly 30 years ago, one of the first things I bought at auction. And I regretted it ever since. It's by James Howarth. It measures eight, 18 inches overall and a 10 inch blade. And it taper ground almost to a feather edge anyway at the last David Stanley auction my mate turned up with this who had had it all those years he collected James Howard and I persuaded him against his will to let me buy it back and I paid four times more than I sold it for at least but it's just staggering. I love it. Anyway, I got this beautiful stone, I think I told you before, very recently. It's dark brown in colour and it's got like a wood grain. It's the most wonderful finishing stone, equal to an Arkansas without doubt. Nobody knows what it is. And it came in a very old box which is over there so I've decided to make a box for it and I've got some Cuban mahogany so that this is I made the start this will be the bottom this is the lid just wanted to show you how to chisel it out it's time consuming but it's worth it when you're done you can drill holes uh, but I never do that because I don't find it any quicker. I find it in the long run probably more difficult. Of course if you had a mortise machine you could mortise it out. But I intend to chisel it out and then with a hand rail to flatten it. Most important, I've told you before, when you've knocked your chisel in to lever it that shears the the grain of the tim the timber and you finish up with a nice cut down the sides You don't take more than an eighth of an inch out at a time. In some timbers you'd take less than that. I've actually got a gauge line here but I can't see it. So I'll blame Sarah. Standing in my light. Anyway, I'll just show you. This is how I'm doing it. That'll do. Hello, we've got to this stage now. It's taken me about ten minutes from the last video so I've chopped that bit out roughly and this bit out now I can take a lot of this bulk out Hack uh, that out very quickly, roughly. Then I'm going to finish it off with my hand router, which I've got to sharpen first. I've just placed the stone in the bottom half uh, just to try it. Once he's in a bit, not quite in, uh, but I'm going to start, start on the lid now. Oh, and these bits, of course, are for end grain blocks at the end. I've allowed three quarters of an inch both ends, and that's the minimum you want, so that you can use the full length of your stone when you're sharpening. 